Our next video is going to be a test for us. We're going to try and predict or figure out the shape A molecule like this will end up with just a half a pair of free electrons. It, it has that spot open, it wants to fill that extra, uh, that extra open spot, it wants to pull an electron. Iodine and chlorine, they're very electronegative, so there's a lot of pull on electrons, so it's very likely that an additional electron will get pulled in, of course, with the additional electron, filling that second pair right there. The whole thing now is a minus one ion. So we just put a minus there indicating there's a, a negative, negatively charged ion. But now it has two free electron pairs. Now notice if I put it in the VSEPR uh, notation, we have one central atom, we have four atoms on the outside, and we have now two free electron pairs. So what does that molecule look like? That probably looks like an octahedral. I was thinking about trigonal bipyramidal, but since it has four outside electrons, four appendages, and then two free pairs, a total of six. When there's six, you end up with kind of like something that looks like a jack. And I used to have a little toy um, here. So it kind of looks like that. So it would have four atoms, and then the free electron pairs most likely would be on opposite ends of each other because they repel each other more. And so I would guess that it looks kind of like this. So we have a plane. Uh, we would have the iodine in the middle, we have the four chlorine atoms, like so. Then we have a free electron pair on top and a free electron pair on the bottom in an orbital shape like that. And that looks like an octahedral shape. So that would be the general shape of that particular ion. Of course, it would have an extra, one extra electron, so it would be negatively charged. And that's the shape of iodine tetrachloride ion.